8. Today is a very, very special day for one Las Vegas woman who's celebrating her 105th birthday. That is just an incredible life to live, no matter how you slice it. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey is here to share her secret to a long life. Sean, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Kalina and Ross. Merrill Garden staff know Phyllis as a woman with a constant smile on her face. And after 105 years, her secret to living may surprise you. As thousands celebrated the coming of 2020 and a new decade, one Las Vegas woman was preparing to celebrate her 105th birthday. It was a most wonderful life. Phyllis was born in 1915 when the average house cost 3,200 bucks, gas cost 15 cents a gallon, and the world was at war. Can you imagine being born in the middle of World War I? Incredible. Chuck Castle is Phyllis's nephew. He says she weathered World War II and the Great Depression as a police officer in Santa Monica, then ran a letter shop in the Pacific Palisades, knew Ronald Reagan as a friend, and married for the first and only time at 75 years old. She went parasailing in Acapulco when she was 75 years old. All as Phyllis calls it. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting, sure, but nothing regretted either. Staff at her nursing home say she's a woman of perpetual smiles, loves animals, and still stays active. <laughs> wow! So when asked to reveal her secret to a long, loving life. Secret? There's no secret. You just grow. Well, <laughs> well, Phyllis, keep on growing so that in 2021, we can celebrate 106. And everyone here at 13 Action News really wishes Phyllis the happiest of happy birthdays today. Happy Absolutely. Birthday. Happy birthday, that Phyllis. That is so incredible. She is so oh adorable, I swear. And it, it, I, I really hope that we get to talk to her again next year when this rolls around. That's in, in every year after that. <laughs> I'm just glad that there's no secret. I can just keep on doing what I'm doing. Absolutely. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. Just keep going. That's it. Sean, thanks so much. Absolutely.